What is going on guys? Joe here back with another video and today I'll be showing you how to easily get iOS 10 on your compatible iPhone, iPad or iPod touch before its final release in the fall. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, Apple did release the public beta version of iOS 10 and that is exactly what we'll be installing today. So that means anybody can technically start using iOS 10 and take advantage of all the new features like the messages features and all that good stuff that I've mentioned and shown in my past videos. So if you actually want to know what iOS 10 is all about, I'll leave a link down below where you can watch the video of the full features and all that stuff that's coming out with iOS 10. But before you even get excited, there are some precautions. First, this is not the final version of iOS 10. This is a beta. It's a public beta. So Apple is distributing this early version of the software to the public so they can get feedback. So just be aware that you will run into bugs. You may run into app crashes or reboots or freezes on your iOS device. So just be aware of that before you install this on your device. Now, if you're going to install this on your main device, meaning something that you rely on on a day to day basis and is really important and you want a fully functional device, I would recommend to stay away from installing the public beta because like I said, this is an early version of iOS 10. So things may not be as smooth. But if you're totally cool and want to test out iOS 10 and get all the new features, then go ahead and install it. It's actually very easy to do. What we'll need to do first is make sure our device is compatible and I'll leave a list down below in the description of what devices are compatible with iOS 10. Next, you'll have to make sure that it is running the latest version of iOS, which is currently 9.3.2. So you can check that by going into settings, general, about, and then you will see if it's on 9.3.2 or a later version. Once you've made sure your device is up to date and run the latest software, head over to Apple's beta software program website, which is gonna be beta.apple.com. Here you will either sign up or sign in with your Apple ID and password. So simply hit sign up if you are not signed up yet for the beta program. And then after that's complete, all you gotta do is accept the agreement here. And then you have this page where you will scroll down and then click on enroll your iOS device. Now, before you proceed, make sure you archived an iOS backup. So that way you'll have your data and everything backed up just in case, because you don't want to lose anything if anything happens to your iOS device. So be sure to archive your backup. It's simply done by going into iTunes and backing up your device. And then after that, going into preferences or settings of iTunes and then going to devices and then selecting or right clicking on a current backup and then hitting archive. That'll mean if you ever run into issues with iOS 10 and if you want to downgrade and then have a backup to restore from, you can do so because you already archived your backup. Otherwise, if you back up your device while it's currently running iOS 10, you won't be able to restore that to your device if it's running an older iOS. So if you try to go from iOS 10 back to iOS 9.3.2 and you try to restore your backup, it's not going to work because your backup is on a newer version of iOS. So just be sure to back up your device and archive it before you update to iOS 10. And after that's complete, all you got to do is head down to where it says download profile and then install the profile for your iOS device. So the next prompt is gonna to be to install the profile. Click on install on the top right. Here you enter your passcode. Once your passcode is entered, you'll now click on install again on the top right and then install one last time. Then you'll need to restart your device. So speeding this up a little bit, that way you won't sit here for a long time. You'll head over to the, your settings app and navigate to general and then software update like how you normally would when you are updating to the new firmware on your iOS device. Here you will see that it now says iOS 10 public beta and to download and install. Once you see that, go ahead and hit download and install and that will take several minutes depending on your connection and speeding it up one more time. That is pretty much it. That is how you install iOS 10, the public beta on your Apple device. It is very easy to do but do be aware you may run into issues. Again, just be cautious about that when using iOS 10. Now there will be updates to the public beta in the future up until the final release in the fall. So all you gotta do to update is go to settings, general, and then software update, just like you normally would. But now you have all the new features for iOS 10 and then get to test those out. Maybe show your friends that you have iOS 10, um, but 
If you want to see a full video on the features and everything that's available on iOS 10, be sure to check out the links in the description below. I have full coverage on the new features, all that good stuff, and all you can expect with the upcoming iOS 10 updates. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video relating to iOS 10 or other future things on the channel. Also, if you found this video useful and helpful, definitely let me know by hitting that like button down below. Not only supports the channel, but it lets me know that you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. And if you're not yet following me on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, go ahead and follow me. I'll leave all the links down below in the description as well. And that way you can keep up to date with what is going on. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know what you think about iOS 10. Are you enjoying it so far? But as always, appreciate your support very much. And uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right.